I'm extremely pleased to introduce to you the SDLG range of crawler excavators. So, let's start at the business end of the machine. Here you can see we've got a GP bucket fitted to the machine and we do have a full range of buckets to suit the customer's application. When we look at the bucket linkage on the SDLG excavator, you can see that we fit a cast steel type of linkage as compared to the fabricator type. That's because the cast steel linkage is far better at withstanding the high tear out and break out forces the excavator creates. Also, if you look at the link arms, you can see that we have strengthening strips on the side of the arms. Again, that gives us a lot more strength and durability to be able to withstand those high digging forces that we spoke about earlier. One excellent feature we have on the SDLG excavator is the wear ring that we fit between the bucket and arm interface. As with any excavator, a lot of wear can take place at the bucket to arm interface due to the amount of times the bucket rotates. So to keep the machine with as much uptime as possible and low service time, we fit a wear, wear plate between that interface. This means that the, the wear plate can be unbolted when it wears and replaced very easily in the field and the machine is back up working in the shortest possible time. If we look at the boom ram pivots, again you can see we have good thick heavy duty plate and if we look at the centre section bottom plate, again good thick heavy plate all designed to withstand these digging forces and pass the stresses through to the undercarriage and be dispersed with undercarriage in the normal way. As I mentioned earlier, the SDLG crawler excavators do generate a high breakout and high tear out force. So we fit a heavy duty excavator end to the machine to withstand those forces that are produced. An example of that is at the boom nose where we fit a forged steel end pieces to the machine. Again for durability, strength and to withstand those high breakout tear out forces. So let's take a look at the undercarriage. All SDLG crawler excavators are fitted with a heavy duty undercarriage which gives them great durability and a superb reputation in the marketplace. One key area of the undercarriage is the idler section. This is what takes a lot of the shock loading and the stress when travelling across ground. And as you can see here on the SDLG crawler excavators we fit a lot of strengthening to the idler section to make sure the machine is durable and has a long life in terms of the undercarriage. See, so we have strengthening bars here on the side, strengthening plate on the top, and we also have strengthening and end caps on the end. If you look at the rollers and the idler, they all have a greater thickness of wear material on them, again to ensure longevity of life and longevity of the track. Also, you can see we have nine track rollers on the bottom of the uh, undercarriage. Again, that gives us greater ability to withstand the stresses and strains on the undercarriage when tracking along and also we fit two track guards to the machine again to ensure that the track is kept onto the machine. In terms of the all important engine the SDLG crawler excavators either have a Dalian Deutz as with this machine or SDLG engines fitted to them. So following on from the engine it's obvious that we need to make sure that the air entering the engine is as clean as possible and as you can see here on this machine we fitted the optional oil bath air cleaner which really does ensure that you get a good cleaning of the air before it goes into the main and the secondary filter and then enters the engine. So let's move on to the operator environment. SDLG excavators really do offer the operator a great environment in terms of the cab. It's spacious, has great visibility and great comfort. We first of all take a look at the seat. It's a full suspension seat and it's a multi-position seat to really give the operator the best position in terms of sitting in the seat and operating the machine. We have an analogue monitor which incorporates all the main warning lamps, plus the gauges for the fuel and the water temperature. Also, let's look at the work modes. We have four work modes here on the, on the dial, but incorporated within those work modes are nine engine rev modes. So we have a full variety of working modes to suit the operator's application. We also have what we call a power boost function. On the end of the joystick here, you press a button and that boosts your hydraulic pressure by 20 bar, which really does give you that digging force when you're in the ground and up against a, uh, an object. But we also have a power max function on the machine. Simply press the button here and it increases the engine revs by 100 RPM when in the high work mode. Again, giving you more flow and combined with the power boost, more hydraulic power to really dig in a hard dig situation. Let's have a look at some more features which really does give the operator a great cab to work in. First of all, we have three sun blinds, one at the front one at the top and one on the rear screen, obviously to cut out the sun glare and really make it an enjoyable place for the operator to work. We also have air conditioning, fitted a standard to the machine, it's automatic, 
and we have 13 air vents in the cab to really give you great airflow around the operator. The machine also comes as standard with a radio and again for added convenience we have a radio mute switch so you can turn the radio off should you get a mobile phone call etc. And finally we have one feature on the machine should you by any chance suffer from an electrical problem then we do have a manual override switch here which means that you can still work the machine in the standard mode continue to work and get you home.